So I sense that these days I'm gifted with a deeper embodiment of the non-judgmental spiral yellow paradigm of seeing things as they are instead of judging them categorizing them in good and bad we've had up and we've had down we've had warm nights we've gone round and round what i know this much is true there ain't a color in the rainbow this shines like you wow that was so interesting to observe like this morning we made a little trip to the other side of the Uluwatu Peninsula to Nusa Dua. I've never been here. It's uh, one of the classic tourist destinations of Bali. Na, da können wir nicht kacker machen. Komm, wir schauen mal, ob wir hier vorne eine Toilette finden. Hier könnte es klappen. And as we arrived here, I was like, wow, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Like, <laughs> if you watch my videos regularly, you know I'm a nature dude. I want the forest. And still we came here and I was like, wow, oh yeah, it's, it's some wood. I was like, wow, this place is so beautiful. Look at that, here's this huge bamboo shala beach club bar. Beautiful, it reminds me a little bit of the, of the Baltic Sea in the north of Germany, where I love to spend a lot of time. <laughs> like even with those little beach huts where you could chill really reminds me of the Baltic Sea. Yes, sure, it's very civilized here. It's like neat and tidy and the beach is very clean and there's no messiness, no, no wild, untamed nature. Every tree is like, okay, here's your position. You can stay here, but please stay only here. Otherwise, we need to cut you. And still, I was like, wow. How beautiful what we as human beings have created. You have me, and I have you. That's enough to paint lonesome black and blue. I have you, and you have me. That puts a bow up in the sky, tells the rain the seas. We've had up, and we've had down. We've had warm nights, we've gone round and round What I know, this much is true There ain't a color in the rainbow <laughs> And while in the past I usually had these feelings of Wow, this is so beautiful for the untouched green Like lush tropical areas where we live in It's the runter and was more in the distinction between this is right and Papa. like living in the city is not right. Not well, I sense that, not yet. Come here. that especially not yet. yesterday Papa. and the beautiful not experiences uh, Leona gifted me with not handed not over not a not more not profound not appreciation not for like everything, careful. everything they created. Like what a marvel it is that Homo sapiens that couple of hundred thousands of years ago just bike. Bike here. yeah there's a bike just roamed around the African savanna we're able to create this we're able to create a place like this here this like prime tourist destination or what a marvel Papa. that human beings Papa. developed something like this Papa. yeah 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 look at that this is like deeply I want to show that look at that there's a training ground here this deep in spiral dynamics terms, deep blue o obedience to authority. Like there's a training session going on of potentially future army servants, I don't know. Like even this, <laughs> what a miracle that is, that Homo sapiens created this. What a miracle it is that Homo sapiens created Dubai. Like the epitome of, of orange, materialistic, entrepreneurial. Like what a miracle that we created this. And no, that doesn't mean I want to live there, but I, I can see the value, I can see the beauty in that. So I sense that these days I'm gifted with a deeper embodiment of the 
non-judgmental spiral yellow paradigm of seeing things as they are instead of judging them categorizing them in good and bad which is very typical for the green paradigm it sees like the the un the untouched protected forest is like beautiful and like a place like this tourist destination where everything is neat and tidy is bad and yeah that's a uh, kind of thinking that i i embodied i embody too no no sala no no i have forgotten and the yellow paradigm is like everything is just as it is and it's good as it is and it's a result of the forces that called it into existence and they created it yeah. and with that comes a deeper sense of freedom and probably this is something that is happening right now because I'm spending more time in the cities more time in the civilized areas in order to be with my son and support him and at the same time support me in being able to bridge this gap bridge this gap from between the between the worlds that's something that is a basic condition of leo's life from an early age on he spends one week with his mommy in the city and one week with us in the forest so he's asked to to bridge this gap between the worlds and Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come here. Bye. Bye. And maybe that's my task too, to deepen the embodiment of, of this awareness. <laughs> yeah. Bye. It's a scooter, that's not ours, huh? We've had up and we've had down. We've had warm nights, we've gone round and round. What I know this much is true. It seems to me that there is a deeper embodiment taking place right now of being able to discern instead of judge two activities that lie closely next to each other but are very different. To judge is to say like okay the city is bad or eating toxic food is bad or even calling it toxic food and discern is oh this food is not nourishing my body in an ideal way that's why i'm not eating it and still people who are eating it are not bad people they're just doing their thing and i choose not to without having any hard feelings against it yeah yeah. Arbeiter. Yeah. Arbeiter mate. <laughs> the, the worker is mowing the lawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's super exciting. So, I still wouldn't choose to live in a place like here or Dubai or Berlin or whatever. And I see why people are doing it. Yeah. I can take their place. And I wouldn't do it for myself and I don't see it as the as the proper place to live for where I am in my life right now and I can let people live in those places and I can even see beauty and value in it and Leo is my role model for that he finds like everything exciting he finds the watermelon that we just had super exciting and, and <laughs> those little Balinese offerings they always put a Put a candy like Leo finds this candy very exciting too Leo finds the lawnmower super exciting at the same time he finds a stick in the forest super exciting hmm. yeah bringing those worlds to together even stop even to even stopping to separate in between these are different worlds this is all the manifestation of the current world we live in. And good morning, Mara. Jetzt hör ich dich. Wunderbar. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. I've gone north. I've gone south. 
south I've gone east, west, inward and out For me I know this much is true There ain't a single direction I had two profound coaching sessions one-on-ones with our Custodia Preneurs group. Wow, like flow, bam, 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 one after the other, hitting home, like trends. Oh my God, I was so, like <laughs> so energized. I just took a little break because it was like two and a half hours nonstop. I was so energized afterwards. Beautiful. I would love to share more of these like coaching journeys, but they are all in German and I made the decision to do this, those videos in English because I don't want to limit what we are doing to the German-speaking audience and that's why I feel a little bit weird to include some Germans. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> this day feels profound and important. On the way back on the scooter from Nusa Dua, I really let everything sink in that we explored this morning and I really felt that although my heart asks me to work in the gift economy and to give everything away I really felt when, when I was sitting on the scooter I could absolutely see myself working in the well I could absolutely see myself working in the like traditional transaction based fixed price again because this like dogmatic thing, only the gift economy is the right thing to do for me, like disappeared. And I was like, if it's helpful for the container, I can work in the gift economy. If I'm working with people who are very into the new story, but if I'm working with people who are basically starting their business and who need spending money as an incentive to really go all in because their life is cluttered with so many things that they don't like doing, and I could absolutely charge fixed prices because it is what's needed right now. And it's the yellow perspective that always asks what is needed, what is the most helpful, not what do I want, what do I believe in, but what is needed in the here and now given the circumstances. And yeah, I feel a strong liberation. Even to live in the city, like it's a it's a part. Like I, I, I strongly sense how all how how all these dynamics are interplaying perfectly with each other one week in in the new world in our nature forest home and then one week in the city in the old because it's my inv invitation to bridge this gap beautiful beautiful how all the things are emerging and flowing into each other i have a lot of appreciation for for life itself <laughs> sending love from bali see you tomorrow terima kasih